And here we have the tetrahedron, four equilateral triangular faces, four times 180 is 720. The cube, the octahedron, there's your 1440. The icosahedron, 3600. And your dodecahedron at 6480, which is the length of the season of the great year. And then your two intersecting tetrahedra, which is your star tetrahedra, Again, 1,440 degrees. And then we look at astrological time cycles and we discover that every one of those numbers has its correlate counterpart in the measure of sacred time. Over here, we have a whole set of these sacred numbers, 14,428,800, 3, Remember I said at the moment of spring equinox, if you're on the right position on the earth, you'd have exactly 43,200 seconds of light on one side and 43,200 seconds of dark on the other side. This would be the point, let's say, where we're at now, at the cusp of Pisces Aquarius. And as we go back in history, 2,160 years, 4320, 6480, going all the way around, we come back to the zero point 25,920 years ago. So 25,920 years ago, the Earth was entering the former age of Aquarius. 12,960 years ago, give or take a few decades, the vernal equinox was passing out of the age of Virgo into the age of Leo. Now, right on the cusp of Leo, something so extraordinary happened that the vast majority of the human race, including even scientists that studied it, have not grasped the significance of it yet. 